everyone, it's Dr. Peggy Simmingson. This video is on your student in introductions. So one issue with online teaching is students don't feel connected to each other. So I always encourage them to up, upload their picture to their profile image in Canvas so that we can see what they look like. Another thing that they do is during week one, they do an introduction. It can be text-based or video-based. So I'm going to share my screen. And what you can see is that they have a self-introduction. And so in this self-introduction, I have a due date. They have specific details they have to include. They have to do replies and that kind of thing. And I even have an example for them. I encourage them to share about their goals and things like that. How do they learn online? If they have any tips for others about online, something fun or interesting about themselves. So I always share facts like I'm an identical twin. I have, you know, I have a little Westie dog, just little fun tips or tidbits and things like that that kind of go beyond uh, the ordinary. And so I, again, um, encourage them to upload a picture. They have a tutorial on how to do that. I have an example of my bio with my picture. Again, just so they can, you know, be familiar with mine. Theirs doesn't have to be as long. They can include hyperlinks if they want and that kind of thing. I put what I'm currently reading in my YouTube channel, which has been a really helpful teaching tool to me as well. So again, student introductions required. They should be a little bit elaborate. They should include some multimedia like an image or a link and that kind of thing. And then give your own example for them to see, so for them to get to know you more. And, and again, as a detailed example, and then have them do replies. So that's it. It's a simple assignment and it, they get points for it.